Hello guys, today I am teaching Programmable Logic Controller PLC. In industry, the wide application of PLC in all the machines. So we will see there some basics of PLC and some program programs of PLC. The first of all, the PLC is nothing but a mini computer. It's a black box. So PLC is a black box. Here there are some inputs, some inputs, and here there are some outputs. So usually standard way the input is I1, I2, I3, and I4. And outputs are Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, so on. Depends on applications. Sometimes 2 inputs, 4 outputs, sometimes 100 inputs, 50 outputs, depend upon the applications, we can choose the PLC. So PLC is a small computer, in the PLC there is a memory. This is called input model, this is called output model. And PLC is required 24 volt DC and 0 volt earthing. So this PLC will connect to the PC, otherwise directly we can connect to the machines also. Suppose, uh, we will, first of all we will study the uh, programs, how, what are the basics of PLC. Okay. So, first, here uh, there are two types of uh, the programmable logic controller. The languages for the programming are four types. The basically we are learning that is a very powerful and widely used is a ladder programming. So PLC ladder programming. PLC ladder programming. Okay, functional block diagram is a one more language. Okay, but this is the uh, PLC ladder programming widely used in the industry. Uh, here uh, in the PLC ladder programming only if we are using some basics. This is called normally open switch. Normally open switch. This is called normally closed switch. First of all we try to understand NO and NC. NO means what? Already it is normally open. Whenever I will press this then the current will flow this side. Whenever I press this, the current will stop. So presently the current is flowing like this and currently the current is stops here. When it is on, the you know when it is on, the current is flowing. When it is off, stop. Here, when it is on, on and off. And here also on and off. When off, when NO is on, then it is closes. Off means the present position. Here reverse. When when the current is flowing, then it is off. When the current is not flowing, it is on. Exactly, it is a reverse of NO switch. Okay. So we'll try to write a small program on PLC ladder by using NO, NC and this is the output symbol. This is called output symbol in a PLC ladder program. These are called inputs. These are called inputs. Okay. For example, for example, I will draw a program. The question is like this. Write a ladder PLC ladder program for AND and OR logic you know AND gate and OR gate so first of all I will write for AND logic you know that in the AND logic you, how many inputs it may be 2, 3, 4 when all the inputs are on then only the output is on. If any one input is off, then the output is also off. Like suppose example 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 
zero sorry zero one zero 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 so in the and logic the ladder programming like this suppose there are two switch both are both are what normally open suppose this is the in one in two is out out output may be bulb output may be pump output may be turbine output may be relay output may be anything input are the switch okay whenever here if i this is on and this is off still it is output is off if both will close or means both will close like this then the output is on so this is the and gate the application of and gate in the press if the both the input buttons if you press by both the hands then only the press will start okay sometimes uh, the both the inputs are spring rate a push button or toggle switch that is a later case okay and second one second one is the second one is the or gate or gate in or gate any one input is on the output is on suppose for example there are two inputs the input one and parallelly i'll take input two also then this is the output so output may be anything or i i can give any name b or c whatever so here 24 volt here 0 volt the current is flowing from this rail to this rail these are called rails and these are called rungs this is a one run this is a second run now input one is on the current is moving from this point to this point bulb is on even input two is off no problem when input two is on the current is flowing from this the output is on if both are on the output is on if both are off the output is off means in a or gate any one input is on the output is on this is the ladder programming for or gate next one next one i'll apply this plc diagram to the our pneumatic system in a pneumatic system for example the question will ask like this write a plc ladder programming for pneumatics circuit specially for for a plus and a minus so first there are two parts the one, first one is a pneumatic circuit in a pneumatic circuit first i'll take a double acting cylinder it's called double acting cylinder i'll take the 5 by 2 5 by 2 both solenoid walls both the side there is a solenoid this is a symbol for solenoid this is called a plus this is called a minus there are two sensors i am using these two are the magnetic sensor because the piston is also magnet so that the proximity sensor or the reed switch or the magnetic sensors anyone so for this i need a compressor so this is symbol of compressor so for a compressor there is a need of motor then here i am usually attaching for a second position because in the second position the piston will retract it will retract here these are called mufflers two mufflers two outputs now presently the air is moving this direction and air is coming from this direction it goes to the atmosphere okay fine here the frl unit is required okay so now this is called a figure this is called what 
pneumatic circuit this is called pneumatic circuit now i'll draw the electric circuit uh, especially plc ladder to run this pneumatic through plc and specially i'll draw the programming part the programming part is like this when when the piston is at s1 when the piston is at s1 a plus should on when a plus should on the air will move through this position it goes to this side piston side the piston will move to this side right side when it reaches to s2 and immediately what happened a plus should be off but this position should be remains on when it moves to s2 then the signal goes to a minus a minus should on then the air moves this side the uh, there is a piston rod side so the piston has to move to the left side so like this continuously it should to and fro motion continuously when it reaches to s2 it comes back when it comes to s1 it goes to s2 so it is automatically to and fro motion of piston okay now ladder programming in the ladder programming i'll draw like this there are two rails there are two rails the first one the condition is that when it is at the s1 s1 is my input now s1 is my input when it is at s1 when it is at s1 a plus should on this output this output a plus should on this is a logic programmable logic controller logic is when it is at s1 the a plus should on so that the piston will move from this position to this position when it moves to s2 then a minus should on a minus should on so when reaches to s2 a minus is on then it comes to the s1 it goes to s2 automatically this is called what figure plc ladder programming if this logic is right then we have to feed in the plc then plc the hardware of the plc connected to here here and here here then exactly it is working this is the what plc ladder programming for pneumatic circuit for a plus and a minus okay now i'll go for okay so i'll move to the next lecture okay i'll stop the first lecture here